The Malayali people or Keralite people also spelt Malayali, Malayalam script, Malayali and Keralia are a Dravidian ethnic group originating from the present-day state of Kerala, India. They are identified as native speakers of the Malayalam language, which is classified as part of the Dravidian family of languages. As they primarily live in Kerala, the word Keralite is used as an alternative to Malayali. According to the Indian census of 2011, there are approximately 33 million Malayalis in Kerala, making up 96.7% of the total population of the state. Malayali minorities are also found in the neighbouring state of Tamil Nadu, mainly in Kanyakumari district and also in other metropolitan areas of India. Over the course of the later half of the 20th century, significant Malayali communities have emerged in Persian Gulf countries, including the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Qatar and Kuwait, and to a lesser extent, other developed nations with a primarily immigrant background such as the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, and Canada. As of 2013, there were an estimated 1.6 million ethnic Malayali expatriates worldwide. According to A. R. Raja Raja Varma, Malayalam was the name of the place, before it became the name of the language spoken by the people. Topic etymology Topic Malayalam, the native language of Malayalis, has its origin from the words mala meaning mountain and alam meaning land or locality. Hence the term Malayali refers to the people from the mountains who lived beyond the western Ghats, and Malayalam the language that was spoken there. The Skanda Purana mentions the ecclesiastical office of the Thachudaya Kamal who is referred to as Manikam Keralar the ruby king of Kerala, synonymous with the deity of the Kudalmanikiam temple. Hence the term Keralar seemed to precede the usage of the word Malayala, Malayalam. Topic geographic distribution and population topic According to the Indian census of 2001, there were 30,803,747 speakers of Malayalam in Kerala, making up 93.2% of the total number of Malayalam speakers in India, and 96.7% of the total population of the state. There were a further 701,673 2.1% of the total number in Karnataka, 557,705 1.7% in Tamil Nadu and 406,358 1.2% in Maharashtra. The number of Malayalam speakers in Lakshadweep is 51,100, which is only 0.15% of the total number, but is as much as about 84% of the population of Lakshadweep. In all, Malayalis made up 3.22% of the total Indian population in 2001. Of the total 33,066,392 Malayalam speakers in India in 2001, 33,015,420 spoke the standard dialects, 19,643 spoke the Yerava dialect and 31,329 spoke non-standard regional variations like Aranadan. As per the 1991 census data, 28.85% of all Malayalam speakers in India spoke a second language and 19.64% of the total knew three or more languages. Just before independence, Malaya attracted a large number of Malayalis. Large numbers of Malayalis have settled in Bangalore, Mangalore, Delhi, Coimbatore, Hyderabad, Mumbai, Bombay, Ahmedabad, Pune, and Chennai Madras. A large number of Malayalis have also emigrated to the Middle East, the United States, and Europe. Accessed November 22, 2014. Including a large number of professionals. There were 7,093 Malayalam speakers in Australia in 2006. The 2001 Canadian census reported 7,070 people who listed Malayalam as their mother tongue, mostly in the Greater Toronto Area and Southern Ontario. In 2010, the Census of Population of Singapore reported that there were 26,348 Malayalis in Singapore. The 2006 New Zealand Census reported 2,139 speakers. 134 Malayalam-speaking households were reported in 1956 in Fiji. There is also a considerable Malayali population in the Persian Gulf regions, especially in Bahrain, Muscat, Doha, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Kuwait and European region mainly in London. History and culture Malayali cultural genesis can be traced to their membership in a well-defined historical region known as Tamilakam, encompassing the Shara, Chola, and Pandya kingdoms and southern coastal Karnataka. 
The Malayali live in an historic area known as the Malabar Coast, which for thousands of years has been a major center of the international spice trade, operating at least from the Roman era with Ptolemy documenting it on his map of the world in 150 AD. For that reason, a highly distinct culture was created among the Malayali due to centuries of contact with foreign cultures through the spice trade. The arrival of the Cochin Jews, and the rise of St. Thomas Christians in particular were very significant in shaping modern-day Malayali culture. Later, Portuguese Latin Christians, Dutch Malabar, French Mahé, British English, and Arabian Muslim communities which arrived after 1498 left their mark as well making Kerala even more colourful, vibrant, and diverse. Malayalis can now be seen in all the countries of the world with the excellence of adaptation to any culture, food habits, language. In 2017, a detailed study of the evolution of the Singapore Malayali community over a period of more than 100 years was published as a book, From Kerala to Singapore, Voices of the Singapore Malayali Community. It is believed to be the first in-depth study of the presence of a NRI Malayali community outside of Kerala. Topic. Language and literature Topic. Malayalam is the language spoken by the Malayalis. Malayalam is derived from Old Tamil and Sanskrit in the 6th century. For cultural purposes Malayalam and Sanskrit formed a language known as Manapravalam, where both languages were used in an alternating style. Malayalam is the only language among the major Dravidian languages without diglossia. This means, that the Malayalam which is spoken does not differ from the written variant. Malayalam is written using the Malayalam script. Malayalam literature is ancient in origin. The oldest literature works in Malayalam, distinct from the Tamil tradition, is dated between the 9th century and 11th century. Malayalam literature includes the 14th century Niranam poets Madhava Panikkar, Sankara Panikkar and Rama Panikkar, whose works mark the dawn of both modern Malayalam language and indigenous Keralite poetry. The triumvirate of poets Kavithrayam, Kumaran Asan, Valathal Narayana Menon and Ullur S. Paramaswara Iyer are recognized for moving Keralite poetry away from archaic sophistry and metaphysics and towards a more lyrical mode. In 19th century Chavara Kuriakos Elias, the founder of Carmelites of Mary Immaculate and Congregation of Mother of Carmel Congregations, contribute different streams in the Malayalam literature. All his works are written between 1829 and 1870. Chavara's contribution to Malayalam literature includes chronicles, poems, Athmanuthapam, compunction of the soul, Maranavital Paduvanala Panna, poem to sing in the bereaved house, and Anastasiyude Rakthasakshyam, and other literary works. In the second half of the 20th century, Neonpith awardees like G. Sankara Kurup, S. K. Padakot, Thakazi Sivasankara Pillai and M. T. Vasudevan Nair and non-Neonpith awardees like Vaikom Muhammad Bashir have made valuable contributions to the Malayalam literature. Later, such Keralite writers as O. V. Vijayan, Kamaladas, Kakanadan, Sugathakumari, M. Mukundan, and Booker Prize winner Arundhati Roy, whose 1996 semi-autobiographical bestseller The God of Small Things is set in the Khatiyam town of Ayemanem, have gained international recognition. Kerala remains a fascinating riddle for the Indian diaspora, especially the younger generations. World Malayali Council with its sister organization, International Institute for Scientific and Academic Collaboration IISAC, has come out with a comprehensive book on Kerala titled Introduction to Kerala Studies, Especially intended for the Malayali diaspora across the globe. J. V. Vilanilam, former Vice Chancellor of the University of Kerala, Sunny Luke, medical scientist and former Professor of Medical Biotechnology at Adelphi University, New York, and Antony Palakal, Professor of Sociology at the Loyola College of Social Sciences in Tiruvanantapuram, have edited the book, besides making other contributions to it. Theravadu Theravadu is a system of joint family practiced by Malayalis, especially castes Nairs, Ezeheva, Theas and other prominent religious groups. Each Theravadu has a unique name. The Theravadu was administered by the Karanavar, the oldest male member of the family. He would be the eldest maternal uncle of the family as well. The members of the Theravadu consisted of mother, daughters, sons, sisters and brothers. The fathers and husbands had very minimal role to play in the affairs of the Theravadu. It was a true matrilineal affair. The Karanavar took all major decisions. 
He was usually autocratic. However, the consent of the eldest female member of the family was taken before implementing the decisions. This eldest female member would be his maternal grandmother, own mother, mother's sister, his own sister or a sister through his maternal lineage. Since the lineage was through the female members, the birth of a daughter was always welcomed. Each Theravadu also has a para devatha clan deity revered by those in the particular Theravadu. Temples were built to honor these deities. Kerala's society is less patriarchal than the rest of India. Certain Hindu communities such as the Nairs, some Ezihava families in Travancore and Cochin, Thias in North Kerala and Muslims around Kannur, Varkala and Edava in Tiruvananthapuram used to follow a traditional matrilineal system known as Marumakathiyam which has in the recent years post-Indian independence ceased to exist. Christians, Muslims, and some Hindu castes such as the Nambuthiras and some Ezihavas follow Makathiyam, a patrilineal system. Kerala's gender relations are among the most equitable in India and the majority world. Architecture <inaudible> 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 Kerala, the native land of Malayalis has a tropical climate with excessive rains and intensive solar radiation. The architecture of this region has evolved to meet these climatic conditions by having the form of buildings with low walls, sloping roof and projecting caves. The setting of the building in the open garden plot was again necessitated by the requirement of wind for giving comfort in the humid climate. Timber is the prime structural material abundantly available in many varieties in Kerala. Perhaps the skillful choice of timber, accurate joinery, artful assembly and delicate carving of woodwork for columns, walls and roofs frames are the unique characteristics of Malayali architecture. From the limitations of the materials, a mixed mode of construction was evolved in Malayali architecture. The stone work was restricted to the plinth even in important buildings such as temples. Laterite was used for walls. The roof structure in timber was covered with palm leaf thatching for most buildings and rarely with tiles for palaces or temples. The Kerala murals are paintings with vegetable dyes on wet walls in subdued shades of brown. The indigenous adoption of the available raw materials and their transformation as enduring media for architectural expression thus became the dominant feature of the Malayali style of architecture. <laughs> Topic. Nalakitu was a housing style in Kerala. Nalakitu is a quadrangular building constructed after following the Tachu Sastra science of carpentry. It was a typical house which was flanked by outhouses and utility structures. The large house Nalakitu is constructed within a large compound. It was called Nalakitu because it consisted of four wings around a central courtyard called Nadamadam. The house has a quadrangle in the center. The quadrangle is in every way the center of life in the house and very useful for the performance of rituals. The layout of these homes was simple, and catered to the dwelling of a large number of people, usually part of a Theravadu. Edhukatu eight hauled with two central courtyards or Pathanarukatu sixteen hauled with four central courtyards are the more elaborate forms of the same architecture. An example of a Nalakitu structure is Matancheri Palace. Performing arts and music Topic. Malayalis use two words to denote dance, which is Adam and Thulal. The art forms of Malayalis are classified into three types. They are I, religious like Thayam, Bhagavadapatu etc., E semi-religious like Sangakali, Krishnanatam etc., and E secular like Kathakali, Mahinayatam, Thulal etc. Kathakali and Mahinayatam are the two classical dance forms from Kerala. Kathakali is actually a dance drama. Mahinayatam is a very sensual and graceful dance form that is performed both solo and in a group by women. Kutiyatam is a traditional performing art form from Kerala, which is recognized by UNESCO and given the status masterpieces of oral and intangible heritage of humanity. Adamthalil is another performing art, which is also known as the poor man's Kathakali, which was created by the poet Kunchan Nambiar as an alternative to Chakirkuth another performing art, which was open only for higher castes to see. Thayam is a ritualistic art form of Malayalis, which is thought to predate Hinduism and to have developed from folk dances performed in conjunction with harvest celebrations. Thayam is performed as an offering to gods so as to get rid of poverty and illness. 
Velakali is another ritualistic art form, mainly performed at temples in the festival time. Kolkali is a folk art in which dance performers move in a circle, striking small sticks and keeping rhythm with special steps. Many ancient Malayali family houses in Kerala have special snake shrines called kavu. Sarpam thulal is usually performed in the courtyard of houses having snake shrines. This is a votive offering for family wealth and happiness. Kerala Natanam, Kerala Natanam Kerala dance is a new style of dance that is now recognized as a distinct classical art form evolved from Kathakali. The Indian dancer Guru Gopinath, Guru Gipinath, a well trained Kathakali artist, and his wife Thankamani Gopinath developed this unique form of dance. Performing arts in Kerala is not limited to a single religion of the Malayali society. Muslim Napilas, Nasranis and Latin Christians have their own unique performing art forms. Duff Matu, also known as Dubh Matu, Aravanamatu is a performing art form prevalent among the Muslim community. It is a group performance, staged as a social event during festivals and nuptial ceremonies. Apana is a popular form of social entertainment among the Muslim community. It is a form accompanied by clapping of hands, in which both men and women participate. Margamkali is a performing art which is popular among the St. Thomas Christians. It combines both devotion and entertainment, and was performed by men in groups. Since 1980s women also have found groups. The dancers themselves sing the Margamkali songs in unison call and response form. Parichamatukali is another performing art which is popular among St. Thomas Christians. This is an artistic adaptation of the martial art of Kerala, Kalaripayattu. Chavidu Natakam is a theatrical art form observed mainly by Kerala Latin Christians, dating back to the second half of the 16th century. However, many of these native art forms largely play to tourists or at youth festivals, and are not as popular among ordinary Keralites. Thus, more contemporary forms, including those heavily based on the use of often risque and politically incorrect mimicry and parody, have gained considerable mass appeal in recent years. Indeed, contemporary artists often use such modes to mock socio-economic elites. Since 1930 when the first Malayalam film Vigathakumaran was released and over the following decade or two, Malayalam cinema had grown to become one of the popular means of expression for both works of fiction and social issues, and it remains so. Music formed a major part of early Malayalam literature, which is believed to have started developing by 9th century CE. The significance of music in the culture of Kerala can be established just by the fact that in Malayalam language, musical poetry was developed long before prose. Kerala is musically known for Sapanam. Sapanam is religious in nature, and developed through singing invocatory songs at the Kalam of Kali, and later inside temples. Sapanam came to prominence in the wake of the increasing popularity of Jayadeva's Gita Govinda or Ashtapadis. Sapana Sangitham music, as the very name suggests, is sung by the side of the holy steps Sapanam, leading to the sanctum sanctorum of a shrine. It is sung, typically employing plain notes, to the accompaniment of the small, hourglass-shaped ethnic drum called idaka, besides the changala or the handy metallic gong to sound the beats. Sapanam is traditionally sung by men of the Marur and Pathuval community, who are Ambalavasi semi castes engaged to do it as their hereditary profession. Kerala is also home of Carnatic music. Legends like Swati Tirunal, Shadkala Govinda Marar, Sanjitha Vidwan Gopala Pillai Bhagavathar, Chirtala Gopalan Nair, M. D. Ramanathan, T. V. Gopalakrishnan, M. S. Gopalakrishnan, L. Sebramaniam T. N. Krishnan and K. J. Yasudas are Malayali musicians. Also among the younger generations with wide acclaim and promise is child prodigy violinist L. Athira Krishna, etc., who are looked upon as maestros of tomorrow. Kerala also has a significant presence of Hindustani music as well. The king of Travancore, Swati Thirunal, patronaged and contributed much to the Hindustani music. The Pulavar of Kerala are closely connected to the serpent worship. One group among these people consider the snake gods as their presiding deity and perform certain sacrifices and sing songs. This is called Puluvan Patu. The song conducted by the Pulavar in serpent temples and snake groves is called Sarpapatu, Nagam Patu, Sarpam Thulal, Sarpalsavam, Pambam Thulal or Pambam Kalam. Mapilla Patu Kal or Mapilla songs are folklore Muslim devotional songs in the Malayalam language. Mapilla songs are composed in colloquial Malayalam and are sung in a distinctive tune. They are composed in a mixture of Malayalam and Arabic. 
Film music, which refers to playback singing in the context of Indian music, forms the most important canon of popular music in India. Film music of Kerala in particular is the most popular form of music in the state. Vallam Kali Vallam Kali, is the race of country-made boats. It is mainly conducted during the season of the harvest festival Onam in autumn. Vallam Kali include races of many kinds of traditional boats of Kerala. The race of Chundan Vallam snake boat is the major item. Hence Vallam Kali is also known in English as snake boat race and a major tourist attraction. Other types of boats which do participate in various events in the race are Chirulan Vallam, Arutukuthi Vallam, Odi Vallam, Vepu Vallam, Vipu Vallam, Vidakanoda Vallam, and Kochu Vallam. Nehru Trophy Boat Race is one the famous Vallam Kali held in Punamata Lake in Alapuza district of Kerala. Champakulam Mulam Boat Race is the oldest and most popular Vallam Kali in Kerala. The race is held on River Pamba on the Mulam day according to the Malayalam era of the Malayalam month Midhunam, the day of the installation of the deity at the Ambalapuza Sri Krishna temple. The Aranmula boat race takes place at Aranmula, near a temple dedicated to Lord Krishna and Arjuna. The President's Trophy boat race is a popular event conducted in Ashtamudi Lake in Kolam. Thousands of people gather on the banks of the River Pamba to watch the snake boat races. Nearly 50 snake boats or chundan vallams participate in the festival. Payapad Jalatsavam is a three-day water festival. It is conducted in Payapad Lake which is 35 km from Alapuza district of Kerala state. There is a close relation between this Payapad boat race and Subramanya Swami temple in Haripad. Indira Gandhi boat race is a boat race festival celebrated in the last week of December in the backwaters of Kochi, a city in Kerala. This boat race is one of the most popular Vallam Kali in Kerala. This festival is conducted to promote Kerala tourism. Festivals Malayalis celebrate a variety of festivals, namely Onam, Christmas, Vishu, Easter, Deepavali, Ramadan and Bakrid. Topic. Malayali cuisine is not homogeneous and regional variations are visible throughout. Spices form an important ingredient in almost all curries. Kerala is known for its traditional sadhyas, a vegetarian meal served with boiled rice and a host of side dishes. The sadhya is complemented by payasam, a sweet milk dessert native to Kerala. The sadhya is, as per custom, served on a banana leaf. Traditional dishes include sambar, avayal, kalan, thiyal, thoran, injipali, pulasheri, appam, kappa, tapioca, puttu, steamed rice powder, and puzuku. Coconut is an essential ingredient in most of the food items and is liberally used. Puttu is a culinary specialty in Kerala. It is a steamed rice cake which is a favorite breakfast of most Malayalis. It is served with either brown chickpeas cooked in a spicy gravy, papadams and boiled small green lentils, or tiny ripe yellow Kerala plantains. In the highlands there is also a variety of puttu served with pani the boiled down syrup from sweet palm toddy and sweet boiled bananas. To steam the puttu, there is a special utensil called puttu cutty. It consists of two sections. The lower bulkier portion is where the water for steaming is stored. The upper detachable leaner portion is separated from lower portion by perforated lids so as to allow the steam to pass through and bake the rice powder. Appam is a pancake made of fermented batter. The batter is made of rice flour and fermented using either yeast or toddy, the local spirit. It is fried using a special frying pan called appa chatty and is served with egg curry, chicken curry, mutton stew, vegetable curry and chickpea curry. Topic. Martial arts Topic. Malayalis have their own form of martial arts called Kalaripayatu. This type of martial arts was used as defensive mechanism against intruders. In ancient times, disputes between nobles were also settled by the outcome of a Kalaripayatu tournament. This ancient martial art is claimed as the mother of all martial arts. The word Kalari 
can be traced to ancient Sangam literature. Anthropologists estimate that Kalarapayattu dates back to at least the 12th century CE. The historian Elamkulam Kunjan Pillai attributes the birth of Kalaripayattu to an extended period of warfare between the Cheras and the Cholas in the 11th century CE. What eventually crystallized into this style is thought to have been a product of existing South Indian styles of combat, combined with techniques brought by other cultures. Kalaripayattu may be one of the oldest martial arts in existence. The oldest Western reference to Kalaripayattu is a 16th century travelogue of Duarte Barbosa, a Portuguese explorer. The southern style, which stresses importance of hand to hand combat, is slightly different than Kalari in the north. Karalites List of famous Karalites See also Topic Non resident Keralites Affairs, World Malaya Lee Council, Kerala Gulf Diaspora, Ethnic groups in Kerala, Migrant laborers in Kerala Topic References Topic Topic. External links Topic. Official site of Kerala Government Malayalam Resource Centre